What's up guys, in this video I will give you five tips on how you can shoot a travel video with your iPhone. I'm currently here in Urgada, Egypt, here on vacation, and I thought it would be a great idea to give you guys some tips on how to shoot a travel video, but still be able to enjoy the moment while traveling. The best part about filming with a smartphone is that you don't have to bring a lot of gear with you to create great looking videos. In fact, the less gear you bring with you, the more creative you will have to be when it comes to shooting your videos. For me, when I'm traveling, I like to keep it mobile and lightweight. When it comes to capturing moments, I want to be able to do that quickly and efficiently. With that in mind, here are five tips that will help you create better travel videos. Tip number one is to travel light. Sometimes we think we have to bring a lot of gear with us to create the shots we need. Try to be creative and only bring the necessary gear with you. Try to challenge yourself using the tools you have with you. If you don't have a drone, use a tripod for example, or anything that can bring your camera high above ground to create that fake drone shot. Also when traveling light, you're able to capture moments much quicker and makes the trip more enjoyable. Here are the tools I bring with me whenever I travel. Now obviously the iPhone 13 Pro Max is always with me, but what I additionally bring is a smartphone gimbal, which is the DJI OM4. And what I like about it is that it has a magnetic clamp that allows me to go handheld in a matter of seconds. I also find it convenient to use the DJI OM4 as a power bank, since shooting videos can drain the battery quickly and because you're on the go it is hard to find a place to charge your phone. Now a lot of my shots are handheld but there's certainly also moments where I prefer using a gimbal to add more movement into my shots. Now the gimbal is also great for capturing hyperlapse which I love to include in my travel videos but also static shots where I just place my gimbal on an even surface to create a time-lapse video. Now tip number two is to shoot handheld. Like I've mentioned, most shots made during my travel videos are shot handheld. The travel video of Istanbul, Turkey was shot 80% handheld. For me, shooting handheld is the quickest way to capture moments. To get the best handheld results, shooting in a high frame rate such as 60 frames per second to then slow it down in post, which helps smoothen out the shots. Additionally, I like to add image stabilization in post to get the best results possible. As you can see, you don't necessarily need a gimbal to create dynamic looking shots. If you need to create static shots such as a time lapse, instead of bringing a large tripod, use a gimbal or a gorilla pod, which is much smaller in size, portable and versatile to use as you can wrap it around objects like a pole or tree. Tip number three is body posture. Whenever shooting handheld, you want to keep your arm close to your body and create a two-point contact as this will help smoothen out the shot. You also want to walk heel to toe to avoid up and down movements. This way you will make your shots look much more natural. When holding your phone, try to hold it in a way with one hand supporting the bottom of the phone and the other hand placed towards the center of the phone. You will notice that you'll have much better grip and can therefore control your camera movements much better. Depending on your shot, this isn't always possible, but whenever you can, try to apply this method. Also while recording your videos, try to hold your breath as this will also help make the shakes less apparent. Tip number four is to make sure you get a variety of shots. Try to shoot as many angles, focal lengths and movements as you can think of to make your videos more interesting. Include wide angle shots to establish the scene, but also capture detailed shots that are important for the story. I often see people doing the mistake of just capturing wide shots, which can quickly get boring. Shoot a scene from different angles so that you can cut between the shots to make the video more engaging. The best travel videos are those with many creative shots in it that make you feel like you're there. Also, the more variety of shots you have, the easier it is for you to piece the clips together in the edit. Only around 10% of all the videos I shoot when it comes to travel type of videos end up in the edit as I only take out the best portion of the video. As a rule of thumb, shoot more than you need, but also be purposeful with your shots so that it fits with your edit. This leads me to tip number five, which is to shoot to edit. The tendency most beginner filmmakers have is to shoot everything they see without giving much thought. Before you start recording your video, think about why you're shooting it and how it fits the overall story that you will be telling when editing the video together. A good idea is to do some pre-planning to have a rough idea of how you want the video to look like. How do you want the people to feel when they see your video? And based on that vision you have in your mind, you can start shooting more purposefully. 
What I like to do is to search for the music beforehand to get a good idea of how the video should feel like. Also, when it comes to transitional shots, having the edit in mind is very important. Think about how you should film the next shot to match it with the previous shots. This way, your videos will have a better flow and will make more sense in the edit. So a bonus tip I have for you guys is to try to include a subject in your video. This will make your videos more interesting and you can really focus on a subject that is doing something and build a story out of it. Now there could be moments where you're traveling alone. So it's a good idea to maybe ask the local people if they would like to be part of the video. You will be surprised that a lot of people would love to be part of your video. I, for example, love to take portrait video where the subject is standing still, looking directly into the camera, where I then create a slow moving shot. But it doesn't only have to be people. What I like to do is also film birds since they're also moving in a scene and creates also a lot of interest. Now what's great about film the local people is that they're always doing something and I usually like to capture those moments as well so don't be shy just go over to them and ask them if you could film them this way you will create a whole lot of a better story so make sure to keep these tips in mind the next time you create a travel video as this will make your life a whole lot easier now if you want to learn more make sure to check out smartphonefilmmaking.com which is my epic online course with over 40 plus valuable content and is growing day by day where you will learn everything there is to filming high quality videos with your smartphone so make sure to not miss out the first 30 people to sign up will receive a 30 percent discount using the code sf30 off so if you want to up your game make sure to take advantage of this offer and start create your masterpiece right there on your phone if you have any questions make sure to let me know thank you for watching and i will see you in the next lesson